Econolite. Moving traffic forward. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to view the status of intersections in your traffic system. Once we have configured our display and added content to its containers, we may view the status of our system. First, we select an intersection we are interested in. There are two ways we can view the status of our intersection. Using the map, the icon for the intersection will display different status information depending on our zoom level. Hovering over the intersection will display general information about the intersection. At the farthest zoom level, the intersection is displayed as a colored dot. Right click on the map and select Show Legend to see what the different colors indicate about the intersection. As we zoom in, the dots are replaced by colored arrows indicating primary and secondary street phases. In this example, four intersections are operating free and all of the others indicate coordination pattern 5 is in effect. As we zoom in further, the map is replaced by a satellite image and the intersection icon is no longer displayed. If the intersection has been configured with movement indicators, they will be displayed and their color will indicate the movement's phase state. We may also use the Entity tree to get status information. Double-click on the intersection name to open a status window. This is a new window. If you resize the window, the image may collapse and provide you with tabs to access other fields of information. This functionality allows viewing of Centrax on portable devices, such as tablets. Clicking on the main window will bring the main window to the front, and the status window will not be visible. You can recover the status window by clicking the Centrax icon in the taskbar and selecting the status window. In our intersection status window, phase state of each movement is indicated on the map view of the intersection by color code, and additional information about each movement can be viewed by hovering over the movement indicators. In the Mode Pattern pane, the desired field shows the mode of operation Centrax indicates the intersection should be running. The current field shows the mode of operation the controller is actually running. Typically, current and desired fields will be the same indication. Indications may be different for a short time during transition. A prolonged difference could indicate a condition at the intersection that requires attention. The next pane provides coordination status. The time pane compares the system time to the controller time. A Centrax user can set a threshold for the amount of time drift allowed before the system forces a clock update on the controller. Below, phase and call status is displayed. Miscellaneous system information is displayed in the bottom panes of the window. This concludes our demonstration on how to view the status of intersections in your traffic system.